Today I'm going to be showing you the USC 10th edition test procedures for the RP assembly. Before we get started, uh, one thing I want to point out is some of the newer assemblies do have uh, test fittings already pre put into the into the test cock, so we won't have to do that step. Uh, first thing we're going to do is notify, identify, inspect, and observe. We're going to notify the customer that we're here to test the assembly. We're going to identify the assembly, make sure we're testing the correct assembly. We're going to inspect the assembly to make sure there's nothing broken, nothing missing, and we're going to observe the area around the assembly to make sure everything's okay. Now to start the test, we're going to start with test cock number four. I'm going to turn that on, let it run. Test cock three, turn that on, let it run. Test cock two. Turn that on, let it run, and test cock number one. Turn it on, shut off one, shut off two, shut off three, and shut off four. We're going to get our test equipment hooked up. Hook the high side hose to test cock number two. We're going to hook the low side hose to test cock number three. And we're going to loosely hook the bypass holds the test cock for so it's ready when we need it. We're going to turn on test cock 3, our low side first, and we're going to turn on the low side bleed and let that bleed out. We're going to turn on the high side, and we're going to turn on the high side bleed and let that bleed out. Get all the air out of the gauge, out of the hoses. We're going to reach over here. We're going to shut off our number two shutoff valve. And we're going to shut off the high side bleed valve and the low side bleed valve. And look at our apparent reading. The apparent reading is 8.0. It's above 5, so we can continue. Our first test is going to be the relief valve opening point. To do that, we're going to open the high side control valve one turn, and we're going to leave that open. We're going to open the low side no more than a quarter turn, and when the relief valve starts to drip, we're going to take that reading. It dripped at 2.8, so it's above 2. We have a good relief valve opening point. So we're going to shut that off now. At this point, we can reestablish our zone by opening the low side bleed. And then we're going to open our bypass to get the air out of the bypass hose. Once the air is out of that hose, we're going to tighten that up. And we're going to open up the number four test cock. This is where we need to reestablish our zone by bleeding our low side of the gauge again. And then we're going to open our bypass one turn, and we're going to leave that open. We're going to take a reading. As long as it dro doesn't drop to the relief valve opening point, it's a second check that's holding tight. So it's not dropping. We've got a good second check. Our last step is to Leave the low side one more time to get our final reading across the number one check. Once the gauge settles, we have an 8.0. So our first check is 8.0, relief valve is 2.8, and the second check is holding tight. We have a good RP. Now we're going to get it shut down here. Shut off our test cocks. Disconnect our equipment. two shutoff valves to get our customer back in service. And we're going to fill out our paperwork here. We got an 8.0. Second check is closed tight. Relief valve is 2.8. I've got the backfill assembly information pre-filled out. We have a passing RP test. 